Morning world. Welcome to Saturday the 2nd of May and a beautiful day in Blighty. Here you go, darling. That's a bit of a He wasn't supposed to be in here. Right, that's them fed. And while they're busy, we'll see what goodies we got. One, two, three, four, five. That's kind of enough for her. So this is the best time to check nests because they usually come off for grub. So what we got in here, we've got dark, nothing there. But in here we've got just two. Well, the thing is, geese rarely rear more than two anyway, because they're actually pretty terrible mums. They usually walk on them, suffocate them, or starve them. Uh, right. There is another nest in the other house, but she's still sat on that and it ain't worth the fight. You really are a stinker. There are times I wish he'd go away, but he's discouraging his mates and doing a very good job at it. Right, I've got breakfast for sheep. We don't need much, just enough, keep them keen. Come on, Biscuit, come on. I know where, he's not looking, I'll just sneak a bit.
<laughs> right, that's the you sorted out. Everybody here present and correct. Um, I've got to give the lambs a bag of creep in a minute, but before I do that, we'll go and feed the cattle. Lambs can wait. <laughs> That's not a toy, you can't chew it. No. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Come on, then. Come on. This is more orders. Blow me, I can't get too close, I don't show addresses, so. Well, that's definitely going to need a bag. we got a problem. We're almost out of uh, packaging bags. It's all right, I'm sorting that. Are you reckon they're coming today? They will be here, so it's definitely going to be right. They're right. multiple. These are all multiple, so they're singular. Okay, all right, okay. I've got to check something out and I'm going to feed cattle. Right, you've got plenty. Um, they're whinging right now because we had some coarse mix left over and then giving them a bit of that each evening. But of course, Every time they see me now, they think I'm going to give it to them, and they like it. So they bellow because I haven't given it to them. Uh, are you trying to hang yourself in there, silly creature? Let's just tie that up, shall we? Before I do actually come down and find you hung. And these guys have gone back onto um, straight hay because we've got to keep everybody in for another 18 days. I've got to make sure that I've got enough hay ledge for the cows and calves, but so if I give them hay, I have, I can, um, I can make this work. So I'll just tie this up and then we'll give the cows and calves a bale of that. This is Saturday, otherwise known as Be Nice for the Farmer Day.
don't know what it is with a fresh new bell. But suddenly they just got to drive their head into it before they taste it. I said, well, once the lambs have had their creep, that'll be my early morning job's done. Um, this bag of lamb creep was very kindly donated by a subscriber and his family. Um, I did say I wasn't going to mention any names. So um, there's no names that can be mentioned as to where it came from. Biscuit. You're all right. They bother at you. Okay. Can you stand by me then? Okay. Okay. Look at it. You're so brave, aren't you? All right. muck off my boots. Right. Stay there. Come on. Come on. Come here. Look. In there. Your no biscuit, stay here. We're going. Alright. I think that was a bit traumatic for her. No, you lot got to stay there. Did you get traumatised? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If you'd stayed in there, you'd be okay. That's got warm now. Being chucked out of the house. I can't imagine why. What's wrong with that? That's good, honest stuff, that is. Oh. It's kind of dried on a bit. She won't notice. Well, it's a lovely afternoon. Time to do a bit of topping, I think. That's the topper on the tractor after 
fiddle faffing around and moving kit and stuff. So, better put some grease in it now. So there's not many grease points on here. Basically, rollers. The main um, drive shaft, this end. Again, main drive shaft and rollers again. And other than that, it's just on the sliders. And of course, don't forget the prop shaft. So I can't remember if I can get the grease lift with the prop shaft on on this one. It's usually easy to take it off. Where's my button? Grease good. Where are you? There you are. Sit down through there. Two. off the edge there. Let's go on the edge of there. That is two. always pays to wipe your grease gun down before you put it away because the next guy might not have a pair of gloves and that next guy might be me wonderful stuff as it is I don't really want it on my hands well, it's 
there's no law saying you can't use them twice. And as rubber gloves are in short supply, no point in me making that supply even shorter. Right then, we are ready to go. No biscuit this afternoon. It's a bit warm for her. And she'll be getting fed shortly anyway, so. I might have to shorten my top leg a bit. Right, before I actually commit to doing this deed, I think I better have a little walk out there again just to be sure I'm doing the right thing. Because there's a lot of grass out there and it kind of seems a shame to waste it from here. Up close might be a different story. So here's my quandary. I want to make silage. There's not really enough bottom in this grass to get a decent cut off of it. And we've got a lot of fairly well formed seed heads. So the grass is currently putting all its energy into seed heads, which is not where I want it. I want it more on the bottom. Oh. This is right on the 50-50, should I, shouldn't I? Do I, don't I? But the thing is, I reckon if I top it, it'll come back as a thicker, better crop. And also it gives my new seed a bit of time to catch up. This is what I don't want. What I do need is a crystal ball. If I knew we were ever gonna have a really good season for haymaking, I absolutely wouldn't even think about doing this, I'd just top it and do it. But if we get another dry summer like last year, I might only get one cut off this. So, so those, some of you will know exactly what I'm talking about. Others will think, what on earth is he talking about? And it's literally a case of, last year I got one cut off of this ground and it wasn't a brilliant cut because it was a dry. That happens again this year, and this is the only crop I'm going to get. Hmm. Hmm. Guess you'll find out in a minute what I'm going to do. Well, I guess I answered the question. I am going to add about it for five minutes and decided, you know what? Let's take the top off, it is all going to seed. There's no bottom in it. I want to encourage the leaf of the grass. I also want to give the new seed space to germinate and have enough light and less competition for moisture and nutrients. So I'm taking it off at about four, four inches. So it's not going down tight. Um, so I'm basically removing all the seed heads all the buttercup heads, although they'll come back. And I reckon two and a half weeks, it'll be back where it is now, but hopefully thicker and better. So hopefully this is a worthwhile operation.
quality. We're not really cutting that much. Um, I would say at least four to ten the leaf is staying. Staying. Uh, what we're doing is taking the top off the leaf and all the stalk and all the seed heads. Um, like I said, we don't we don't want the seed heads. We don't want the plant putting its energy into producing seeds because that's just not what we want it. very very poorly looking rugged. We'll have a look at him on the way back. I don't think we're going to remind him. seen better days but well it's not what not buzzer the badger we'll finish that off I could run it for the machine wouldn't do the machine yarn but maybe the buzzer wants it diced I'll be mowing this and wrapping it. Yeah, there. Still we're halfway. Four o'clock, we should be finished by half past five. Maybe five. Just in case they've got to turn fast, you're going to come out of the 